Hi students. Today we are going to see that uh, uh, what is called clockwise torque and what is called anticlockwise torque. <coughs> clockwise torque and anticlockwise torque. The idea is very easy. Um, I'll give you an example. See, a very common example we'll take. We'll take uh, uh, a seesaw. We'll consider a seesaw. See, this is the seesaw, and here. This seesaw is balanced from here. We call it fulcrum. This is the seesaw and this is the fulcrum from where it is balanced. Now, since the seesaw is balanced, since seesaw is completely balanced, so it is not experiencing any torque. Now, if a boy is sitting here, the boy is sitting here now. And the mass of this boy is 50 kg. The boy is sitting here, so we can say that the for this boy, the seesaw will tilt this direction. The seesaw will tilt this direction. So, since this is the direction of anticlockwise, so this boy will experience a anticlockwise torque. This direction is anticlockwise. See this direction. So this is the direction of anticlockwise torque. Now, if another boy is sitting here, whose mass is say 60 kg, mass is 60 kg. Now, for this boy, that this will tilt this direction. This seesaw will tilt this direction. So this direction it will move. And we call it clockwise torque. Clockwise torque. So this is anti-clockwise torque and this is clockwise torque. Now, if we want to calculate the anti-clockwise torque, then torque for say this boy is A. So torque for A 50 kg. This is mass. We have to convert it into weight. The mass of this boy is 50 kg. So what is the weight of the boy? 50 kg F directly. We'll write just F. This will be converted into weight of the boy. 50 kg F into this distance. Say this distance is 1.5 meter. So we'll write 1.5 meter. So this is the weight of the boy into distance of the boy from the fulcrum equal to if you calculate it by 10 0 0 cancel 75 kg f m this is anti-clockwise stop so we'll, in bracket we we'll just write anti now for this boy torque for this boy b what is this weight same mass like here mass is 50 kg so 50 kg f so here we will write 60 kg f into what is the distance say distance is 1 meter from the fulcrum this boy is sitting at a distance of 1 meter so it's 1 meter now 60 kg f m this is the clockwise torque because for this boy the for this boy this is the will tilt this direction this one so this is clockwise torque now this is anti-clockwise torque this is clockwise torque are they same this is 75 this is 60 are the same no they are not same so the seesaw it's not balanced which side is higher this side is heavier here torque is 75 here torque is 60 75 60 so this is higher so obviously the seesaw will tilt this way this way because this side is heavier 75 now we have to find what is the resultant torque resultant torque what is the resultant torque the bigger minus smaller where is it the bigger minus smaller bigger is 75 smaller is 60 so 75 minus 60 
that is 15 kgfm which is bigger anti clockwise is bigger so in bracket we will write anti clockwise that much so for this type of numerical where two boys are sitting the mass are given the distances from the fulcrum is also given for this type of numericals we can calculate anti clockwise torque as well as clockwise torque plus resultant torque of that so here we saw to find the torque just your weight into distance weight into distance weight into distance so what is the mass of this by 50 kg just to convert it into weight we have to write 50 kg f that's all 60 kg is the mass so we write 60 kg f that's all so in this way we can calculate and at last we will calculate resultant torque we'll go for few more examples in our next session thank you